actions with their words and their hearts in their mouths will perform. This is the girl whose all kinds of everything has brought us to the gaiety tonight, Donna. Well, I'd like to wish all the competitors the best of luck, and I hope that the best one will win. And here is Eurovision's hostess to the world, Bernadette Nigalcor, who will open the show with these words. This morning, we're going to show us Kate Miller Falls to Roy for a commotion surrounding the Eurovision, the Bienna Nuijek Shacht to see him. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow against that, or Auckland and Gaiety, a Malia O'Keefe. Then Claude Shaw attacked with a blow do you want to see what they've been up to? Stand by to rehearse. En attendant, c'est le printemps et je n'ai pas encore vingt ans. This is Luxembourg's entry, Monique Malsan with Pom Pom Pom. The theatre is full of lights. The lighting, using enough electricity to illuminate a small town, is controlled by a computer with every change and dim preset in its memory bank. Cameras are everywhere. This one looks down from the top of the auditorium as the stand-ins for the two Belgian singers take their places. Ken Shannon, Ortiz head cameraman, with one of the colour cameras which will feed the picture to the 40 commentary positions. Then out it goes to the outside broadcast bands parked round the theatre for transmission to the Ortiz television centre and on by diffusion to the 29 countries taking the broadcast. And it goes via these microwave links on a nearby roof. All the week, journalists and commentators from all over the world have been working in Dublin, reporting on the organizational miracle, technical, administrative and artistic, which goes into a televising a Eurovision production on this scale. This is the sound control desk, which has 40 channels, 40 outputs. And here we have one of the seven outside broadcast bands where picture quality is controlled. I imagine they'll be up on their toes here tomorrow night because then the picture is not just going out on local circuit but going out to the entire world. Here are the color videotape machines which will record the show for replay later. The Eurovision scrutineers position and here is what a thousand million people will be watching tomorrow night the new easy-to-read scoreboard with eight-inch-high letters which will show the results of the 1971 Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin. <laughs> 